Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I haven't updated you guys on the Japanese skincare that I was using. So I wanted to share more products that I've been using over the past few months that have like dramatically, I said this last time, but they have literally dramatically changed my skin. I think sometimes that, I'm not saying that Western products don't perform as well. Some of them do, some of them don't, just like Asian products. Some of them perform really well. Some of them it's like a hit or miss. But since it's not so mainstream yet, even though like Korean skincare and Japanese skincare is getting a little bit more popular in the Western world, I feel like it's a little bit like slept on in a way. This is the other brand that I started to try out within the last month or so and I really like it, even better than this one. I still like this one, it performs really well, but for some reason this one works better for my skin type, which is dry and sensitive. The difference between these two is that this skin lotion or skin conditioner is made out of wheat and barley. And then this one right here is made out of sake. So after I noticed that this one was working really well, I went online to do a little bit more research. And people were claiming that if you use the whole bottle of this consistently every single day, your skin will get a lot brighter, that glow to it. And the sake in it is anti-aging. So I didn't know like one water could do so much. So since I was really impressed with this skin conditioner, I went back and bought the whole line and I'm just gonna tell you guys what I think is worth it. So this one is a skincare wash, so it's a foamy face wash. This is the Emulsion, which is like a light liquidy lotion. And then this one is like their thick uh, cream. So all of them again have amino acids in it and sake and it's supposed to brighten, soften, pretty much everything that the skin conditioner does, this is supposed to do it as well. So I wanted to use all the products together to see if it really would make a difference. So every night I am using all four steps. I do use a retinol as like my serum. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the face wash first. It's the same concept, it's a sake face wash with amino acids and rice fermentation. And when you get it wet, it foams up even more than this. It's really, really foamy, lathery, rich. So out of all of the foam cleansers, I've tried all brands. This is the only one I found that doesn't strip the skin and doesn't make it more dry. It does leave it feeling a little tight just when you rinse it off, but after it does not have that lingering, tight, dry feeling. I do think too, this removes dirt, oil, makeup really well. I used to use gel cleansers and I found that it didn't really cleanse my skin as deep as I wanted it to unless like I really use like a brush or something to like scrub it in. With foam cleansers, I feel like I could just use my hands and it cleans like 10 times better. Before I started using this too, I did notice I had like little bumps and blemishes underneath where my skin gets really oily pores and like dirt that i've seen like pop up like around you know i keep pointing here but like around the t-zone around the really oily zone it's not so actually it doesn't even like i can't even really notice it anymore so this this cleanser does a really good job in cleansing your skin. Kind of new to the whole skincare step regimen. First I use the foam cleanser, then I use the skin conditioner. And the next step I was doing is using the skincare emulsion. This is what it looks like. It's also 500 milliliters, comes with a pump, same size as the skin conditioner. And this is to show you the consistency. I found a little odd at first when I started to use this one, the fermentation of the sake in, in this product would like kind of ball up and make like little little lotion balls. And I was just like, is this is this something wrong with this? Like, am I using it right? But that was completely normal just because if you have like rough or dead skin on your hands when using these products, since they have rice fermentation and sake in it, it really removes the dead skin. So especially if you have it on your face and you notice like, oh, like, like it's peeling a little bit, that's normal. It's doing its job and it's like taking off the old dead skin cells and, you know, rejuvenating it. I never use emulsions as my moisturizer, even though sometimes like, you know, you can get confused because it's like, oh, it's like a light liquid lotion. I always think of it as when they have a line like this, it's just a layer. If you use all the layers correctly, wash, skin condition, emulsion, and then cream, they're gonna perform uh, what they're designed to do. From all the products, this one has like the strongest kind of sake scent, which is something I don't mind, but this one, you can definitely smell it. Um, so I was like, oh, it's gonna like make my skin sensitive. And I just did not have high hopes for this type of cream. Um, but 
but it proved me wrong because when I did all the steps and I sealed it with this one at night, it made my skin the next day like it looked like I drank two gallons of water. I was afraid that I was going to clog my pores doesn't do that either. I also didn't see that I had any buildup in my pores. I think that this face cream, since it is a little bit more stickier and heavier, it's better to use on its own at night, not underneath makeup or anything, but as a treatment face cream at night, it's really good. If you're worried about these products expiring before you could use up the full amount, they're not limited to just your face. I've actually used the skin conditioner on my arms and the emulsion as like a light body lotion. I just like pat this all over my skin and then seal it with this. This, and it does make the skin a lot softer. It's using my arms, legs, your whole body, and it's going to do the same thing as it does for your face. So, another plus. So, to tell you out of all four products which are worth it, I would say all four. But if you're a little skeptical, I would say the two products to start off with is definitely the foaming face wash and then using the skin conditioner. Um, if you had to choose one, I would definitely just say the skin conditioner. So you could just use all of your products, but just incorporate any type of skin conditioner into your routine as the first step. So what you want to do is cleanse your face, apply a skin conditioner two to three layers, let it soak in, and then apply all of your other skincare. The reason being is that I think it's worth it because you don't have to use as much as your other skincare to make it be effective. Because the skin conditioner as the first step softens it and like makes the skin ready for product, I feel like your other skincare works a lot better and performs a lot better. The best way to describe it is like miracle water that preps your skin. So I really wanted to share this because I know in my last video I was like this summer I'm going to switch all to Japanese skincare and like you know maybe it's going to work, maybe it's not going to work, but I'm finding that it's working like every single product that i have been trying out over the summer has performed really well some a little better than others but pretty much all of them they aren't something i would just like stop using and never repurchase again these aren't high-end japanese skincare products they're like drugstore products and they work this good like i will be back with more videos so i'll see you in the next one